folks. Today I, I, I should start earlier, but I had some issues. Anyway, I'm here. So today we're gonna fix that issue we found on Friday. Uh, also, also, I'm now. Uh, we we also check some comments. Uh, from our normal commenter let me check the Saturn Mart did some comments so let's see what's going on there so Saturno, Saturno March suggested uh, me to use a, a crate for 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 debugging, but I tried. I actually tried what what he uh, he suggested here this cross term. But I think this is not an, an debugger, it's more like a, to you to be able to do, put colors and so on in your terminal. Also, uh, then matrix, which is one of our uh, viewers that is always with us online live he suggested me to try to to debug using c lion i tried it said that uh, i need to install the gnu to chain i installed that even in windows but anyway it didn't get working i don't know why i had not too much time to test that this afternoon but it's not working so I think I will let that for a specific session where I'm trying to debug anyway I think it's a good idea to have a debug working and that's definitely something that I want to learn uh, And then, but anyway, let's get back to our our project. So uh, on Friday we had that issue that we are not able to display to actually do the math or do the the right stuff here to copy the background buffer to our real screen, which is a mini FB buffer. Uh, so then I, I even uh, still on Friday I decided to use um, to to cop this to put this buffer and it was 2D it was like a, a b-dimensional uh, vector then I changed it to be a unidimensional vector to match what is in min fb buffer and then i bring the problem to here to our to our populated background buffer so the issue on friday was uh understanding how we need to to make the the calculation here to to be able to handle it's working now uh, let me but let me explain how it's working. So we have our, our R here. This is a 256 per 256 screen. It's not the real size of a Game Boy emulator, but this is the background size. So 
So then, then we we have this. I mean, we have this issue to put this in the screen. So let me explain how I I, I figure out how to do this. So we uh, already knew that. So uh, first of all, what we are doing here is uh, trying to. In a unidimensional vector, so we have uh, all the pixels in one, only one uh, uh, dimension of uh, a vector. Uh, we need to plot this uh, in a way that we have like a tile by tile, side by side. So for doing that, we need to first. Uh, print all the pixels inside one tile, and that's that that's possible. Uh, let me get back our pixels here. So, as we we knew already. Uh, we have. 8 by 8 our tile is 8 by 8 pixels so <clears throat> we need to handle two offsets here one for horizontal your other for vertical so this part of this part of the i part of this uh, expression here takes care of the pixels inside the tile and the T part of this takes care of each pa each uh, tile inside the whole screen. So, for a horizontal offset, we have uh, the number of pixels module eight. Why? Because when the module when the, uh, uh, the variable i here is below 8, it is still be incremented here, like in a horizontal way. So one, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then when it gets 8, 8 uh, divided by 8 is 0, there is no module. So then it gets back to, to 0, the position 0. zero. Then uh, nine, nine is one. Nine, nine module module eight is one, and so on. So here we have a, a formula to op offset the horizontal inside the tile. For the vertical, we only need to to pay attention because the entire width of the screen is two hundred fifty six pixels. In this case, uh, when this happened, in this case, we need to divide the variable that we are controlling by eight and mu multiply it by uh, the width of the screen. Why? Because when it it is uh, one, and it of course this is an integer, so. Um, <clears throat> Uh, 1 divided by 8 in integer will be 0. So 0 width, width, width in, in the width of the screen, we still in the first row. When we have uh, more than 8, we, s we get back to the second row, second line, and so on. So we have this times width for doing the, the, the care here the the carriage return like it it is printing here then when it gets uh, plus eight we multiply it by the widow screen it will go to the end and get back here because the number will 
being crazy. Uh, then we need to, to do the same with the tiles because we already have the pixels inside tiles. Now we need to do the same with the, the completely tile. The idea is the same because the tiles is composed by the screen is composed by 32 tiles. 32 per 32. So we know that on each 32 we need to uh, get back to the on each on each 32 we need to get back to the the first row. So then uh, for doing that we have the module of 32 T model 32 because T is the counting of tiles. But here is the, the 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 thing that we are missing on Friday. We need to times it per eight because it's, it's the size of one tile. So that was the issue uh, on Friday. We are we are forgetting to to multiply by the the size of the tile. Oh, hey Dan, with MCC to show you have to use AWS code or attach you with Visual Studio. I haven't used Rust with Rust with both. Yeah, so uh, Dan, I already have here. If I I already have the GNU to chain here. And if it this way is not working. If I change to MSVC, it, it it works neither. Yeah, and I think I will dedicate one one session. I will prepare one session specifically for that. Then we go through the debugging. Also, I I am I'm I'm thinking to to put in the YouTube channel some uh, like points like this, like debugging. That we can, that I can do, I, I can work off uh, offline, like to prepare a, a, a better material, and then explain in a video or something like that. Because uh, as you know, I, I'm still learning as well, and then for doing this, okay, let me check that out. I'll install the GNU to China. Oh, okay, great. Are you using C Lion or VS Studio? So, so then we have the our our R in the screen. Okay, that's great. But if we see here, the screen is still not the right one. We need to pay attention on the SCX and SCY to check where it should be. It should be located. I use VS Code with Rust on MSFC. Yeah, so VS Code Rust. Yeah, I have uh, I have this extension. Let me see. I don't use VS Code too much because I like the VI motions and VS Code seems to not have that much. Uh, let me open folder. Don't say. So yeah. So debug, add configuration, stop. I I already had that. Oh, it it needs Rust analysis. I think so. 
okay then debug add configuration debug open configuration But are you on Linux to use code LLDB? Oh, you are in OS X? Anyway. Oh, here. Oh, we have both now. There's so much time that I don't uh, work with. Let me check here. So if I put a brick one here, oh, we can have to break one. I think you should not focus on the book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I don't. But now I'm break. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. I will check this later and see how how this work that should work then I, I i will get back to you to you guys and explain how i mean what i learned from this so i think this is to learn it's to open so uh what i was saying is that we have this 200, uh, 256 per 256, but want to show only 106 per 144. And how we should do that? Uh, first of all, uh, our uh, buffer, our buffer, we are using a buffer with the size of uh, 200 for 200. So let me just put this way. And of course, I think if we do this, uh, it will print something. No, it will not print something because it will panic. Yeah, <clears throat> and why is that? Because we are trying to go over this size of uh, uh, square but we only have this size of screen so we need to start our counting exactly where our SCX and SCY is telling us to start so
let me... I think I will need to create another function here in the PPU to transform background buffer yeah so but function transform background this music is 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 boring nobody is watching us today because of the music too boring that's this is nice Oh, I forgot to mention, on Friday we reached a very important milestone. Uh, I got the path of affiliate or something. It's something special here in Twitch, I don't know what that is for. I think it's for allowing subscribers or something. But I still don't know what that means. Rust is not... What's that? Of course it is. We'll stop. Cargo install rust. I think I will use the other. Transform background buffer into screen. Uh, I will not change the buffer. And I want to return a vector of 32 u32. Yeah, okay. So then I need to get let sci cy self get sci passing him. So uh, this. These are controlled by this the 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 the, the place where we will uh, put the uh, like focus of the screen is controlled by two registers called SCX and SCY. So. I want to. Uh, okay, so now that we have this, we want to, re to start reading the tile map in that position. So let So for oh sorry. So let me think. Uh, now we need to uh, go for all the background, and we need to skip all the pixels that are outside outside this so uh, 
And how is that? Because we have no, we don't have a, a two B dimension. Well, we we can do something like multiplying. So So how we, where is this point? So let SCX So this is this point And this is this point. Okay. So now So now we need to uh, go through all of this screen, all of this uh, so self so for M. in self background buffer enter and numerate for e i mean f b pixel in oh sorry it's a red pixel uh, it, there is no two between one so this is easy So I just need to check if the pixel is inside this. So the pixel is inside this if M is greater or equals to SCX. Let me check how is this number first. Okay, so now I will print this, just print, okay, so I need to here, just PPU, uh, transform, yeah. it will not work because I need to return a vector. 
zero thirty. Okay. No matter. Now it's returning. Oops, sorry. It needs, uh, and I, I will also need to comment this out because this will be. Yeah. So we are from zero to. 100 one uh, zero it's CX was that yeah. uh, zero to 100. So now I need to check So it's about it's like here So I need to understand how to transform this <laughs> the pixel So now I need to, I will initialize this with uh, uh, one, 144 times 160. Yeah, is that? Yeah. So this is the size of this screen. Okay, so now I need to transpose that to here. So how to do that? Change the music. So I need to discover these four points, right? So this point is x scx times two hundred six pixels. No, it's C S C I. So let's put this way. So we have four point point A is S C I times two 
So if SCI is 100, well, that's where. <clears throat> Yeah, so SCI will be here, but it's a red pass it. One, uh, uh, the SCI time, yeah, SCI times with it. Why is that? So, is that plus SCX, right? Right, because it's all one, two, three, all those lines plus this. Okay, now this point. This point is is the same. But plus 100 pixel because this is the screen. Okay, now this point. So let's do this way. So this point is. As you see. Plus 104 because it's this way, and also SCX plus 100, yes, and point 30 is just SCI, yeah, then we don't have this so. If the point is greater than, greater than A and D and lesser than, yeah, I think that's it. So if M is greater or equal to point A and greater point D and M is less or equals to point C and Then what's that? Okay, so then in this case, I will do this. Let 
i equals zero in this case i will put screen i go equals to as Oh, sorry. And what here? Oh, yeah. So then, I think we probably have the right stuff now. And then we can put like buffer. Uh, Grant let grant view board oh. something there is something wrong here so then here I do yeah Let's see now if this will Oh great then Yeah thank you So yeah definitely I will Talk to you later Just see how that How make that works Oh What's that Here we have a problem Oh yeah. Still a problem. Okay. Yeah, because we have this table. Um no, it didn't work. So let me check here one thing. I want just to know what's the size of this hmm? attempt to add with overflow. Oh, this should be your size. Actually not. Oh yeah, definitely. Your size. 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 And actually. Here I don't need this anymore. Yeah. 
now what's that oh I want to print the um, the lane yeah I think I don't need that anymore so now well <laughs> Nope, didn't work. That didn't work. So let's see what's what's wrong here. So let's see what is wrong here. So now I'm trying to debug why this is wrong, why we are not getting... What's this? Oh yeah. So let me try to understand here what is the problem. Yeah, so I was changing the music. So here, let's see what's that. What? I think we are not even hitting here. Wait, me. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. So it should be Oh sorry. It should be greater than point A or point B and lower than yeah I inverted things here. Oops. Still not there. Let me fix this. So, still not there. Definitely not there. So, what's wrong here? Two twenty five.
This is the point C. And this is the point D. So it should be Okay, to be under this line, it should be greater. Okay, it should be here. It should be greater than point A and point C, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's point A and point A and point C. A, B, no, yeah, it's point D. So it should be greater than this. A, B, and lower than this. So, SCA in a typical game. Okay. Still not there. Oh wait. Yeah. There is one more thing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is one more thing here. There is an important thing here. Because we are starting this with the I need to start this with the light this green. Yeah. Uh, but still not there. Uh, wow! Do you know how to fix that? She doesn't know. Me neither. Oh. Wait. Wait, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix. We're gonna fix that. So, how we need to. <laughs> we need to be. If the SCX and SCIY is correct, why we are only doing so?
wait I think the points here are wrong so point eight is times plus this okay this is times plus this plus 100 okay C is 100 times oh wait I think that's it. Well, I'm still trying to centralize this, so we have the four points here, so the point, the point A is SCY times width, because we are, have 250 pixels plus this that's okay then we have the point B the point B is this so the point B is also the same but then we have this plus 160 okay then we have the point C which is this two here is a C Y, but then we need to increase this 144 pixels times the width it plus 160 pixels okay and then here is yeah. that that's fine I think that's fine the points are fine so here M should be greater than point a which is this Oh, sorry. Yeah. Or, yeah, that, that's it. Point A. Yeah, then we will. <laughs> yeah.
So I think this is it. Um, Right, this is uh, one so here we have 100 pixels. Here we have one hundred and six. Should be should be this way. What's wrong here? So I'm yeah. So it should be greater than point A. and Yeah, I think I, I, I'm not able to do that with just comparison because of this area. This area matches the comparison, but it should not be included. So. 
So... I think these need to follow the same structure here. So if M is equals if M If M is greater than this point But I don't know this point Yeah. I think I will need to put some research Let me see. Mm. I think there are some examples. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what we need. So... Yeah, 
Yeah, but he gets the coordinates, I think. Use uh, two uh, B dimension array as well. Yeah, it's easier to reason about. <laughs> I think I'm too. So I will just get So if it's uh, 
and then and I I will not get the right but I want to just, just check one thing here. So this way I should get almost No something here Actually, So if you get the number divided by the width, I get the line. And if I get the number and I module it with the eight. So if it is one, it's to be line zero. If it's one, it will be line zero. Column is not bright. So 
So if we have so just to you guys to you folks to see what we are doing here we are we are trying to we have a, a square which is the background and uh, I'm trying to get this and all of these represented by a vector with 200 times 200, 256 times 256 numbers um, so I need to skip all the, this area I know that I need to skip the numbers too here so this area is easy to skip this area is easy to skip but this area is the hardest part divided the number by this So if the number is greater than point A and lower than point B It will be like this. But if it is but it should be also Actually, let me try to to guess the lines. So 
let line equals to n times no, divided by okay let me try to put this quintal in Okay, so yeah, this is the line. And the column, the column is called Okay, so let me check how this goes. Okay, so yeah. So if line is greater than SCI greater or equals to SCI and line is lower than SCI plus CI plus 144 and column is greater than SCX and less than column And column is less than SCX, SCX plus. So then we do screen. Actually, let's name it viewport. I equals mean FB tile and we report uh, 
Okay, let's see. And then I blow. Uh, okay. No, it seems that by the lanes, but. Yeah, but we still don't see. Where is the... Let me do this. So the Y is the the R is there. Maybe it's not the screen. So let's do something here. Current viewport, and instead of. Uh, Using SSC, I will do something like I will put like SSCX equals to zero and SSC to 150. Let's see. Now 150, we can't. So zero. appear somehow oh, so this is still wrong Yeah, this is not a so productive session, but I will need to turn off now because it's getting late here. Uh, anyway, I will try to figure out this offline and to more explain you what's that. Uh, I'm 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 disappointed that I'm getting. I'm losing so much time in on this stuff. Well, anyway, so people, thank you for watching. I will get back tomorrow uh, with this part. I, I would like to start in doing a real wrong today, but I'm losing my mind with this 
drawing drawing stuff I need to practice, practice more yeah so tomorrow I will fix this and we will be I will be back tomorrow at the same time thank you for watching everybody I will be uploading this video in YouTube as well thank you